side. Lost one down the sideline. Caught. Touchdown, Carolina. He's under pressure. And they sack him all the way back at the five-yard line. Oh, what a way to light it up here at Williamsburg Stadium. Well, the Gamecocks opened up the homestand in the 2017 with a fury when Debo Samuel went 68 yards on the first play from scrimmage after a pass from Jake Bentley. But not much good happened after that. The Gamecocks fall to Kentucky 23-13. Coach, fast start. Not only that, you got a pick on the uh, first series by Sky Moore. What happened after that fast start? Well, we got to capitalize. We jumped off sides on, on the two consecutive series. Obviously set us behind in the down and distance. It's tough to overcome that. But it's tough to overcome when you can't run the ball. Uh, offensively to take some pressure off your quarterback and some of your skilled guys defensively sloppy and tackling uh, and couldn't get off the field on third down and that was a you know really in the first half that was the story of the game our inability to get off the field on third down our inability to run the ball but a lot of self-inflicted issues missed kicks some things that we haven't done in the first two ball games and penalties coach your team had played so cleanly on the road where that's hard to do but Seven penalties for 45 yards tonight. I, I know that was unusual for you to see. Well, critical penalties, too. You look at the delay of game right before the half when Parker hits the field goal and then we miss the next one. I mean, just things like that, you know, we're, we're still in a, t in, a, in a mode that we can't we have a hard time overcoming some of those things. We've got to capitalize on those. We have in our first two ball games. We didn't tonight. Coach, it's still so early in the season, but on your Palmetto Health injury report, a big loss tonight. Uh, a couple of players on it, but Debo Samuel is the biggest one. Debo just called me. He's at the hospital, and uh, you know, disappointed for him. He broke his leg, and and uh, they're going to have surgery tomorrow. And I don't know the extent of what all happened, but uh, what a wonderful young man. Uh, did an outstanding job here for us, and and uh, just I heard for him. Well, one of the most exciting players in college football, not only for our football team, but obviously all of college football. Coach, that sounds like a season-ending ending injury. Is that the case? Yes. Dante Sawyer and also saw Hayden Hurst and Zach Bailey come out of the ball game. How are they doing? Zach had a little bit of an ankle. I'm not sure how, how bad it is. And uh, uh, Dante had a hamstring. I don't know how bad that is. Hayden's fine. That's our Palmetto Health report. All our best to Debo Samuel, all the excitement he brought us in just three games. We wish you the best. We'll see you soon at Carolina Football. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work.
Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. And welcome back to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Carolina Falls tonight at home in the season opening at home against Kentucky 23-13. And now it's time for Keys to the Game brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Coach Shoot, you told me four days ago um, that your football team had to stop the run and you had to be able to run the football. That certainly didn't help tonight. Didn't well, help. I told the team before we left the hotel to come to the stadium, if I stand before you and we've rushed for more yards and then we probably won the game. If we didn't, I can't sit there and guarantee you that, and we certainly didn't. So that was the, the, the telltale of the game to understand we had to stop the run. Uh, they bled us more in the run game. Snell's longest run was for 12 yards, but uh, we, we, our inab inability to run it hurt us to stay on the field. Now it's time for this week's highlights presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. I don't know that you could get a more picture-perfect setting this this night for, for Gamecock no. football. It just didn't quite work out. Outstanding by our fans, and we certainly appreciate it and apologize for the way we showed up, and that starts with me. But uh, need to get better. Obviously, we're going to get a lot of these sky kits, but getting the ball in the 35-yard line, 30-yard line is going to be really good for us. And we start quick with an RPO right here. Uh, Debo beats the, the corner inside. Jake sees it and uh, throws the ball out and lets him, lets him run. So that's a great play, great way to get started here. Uh, missed the extra point, which was disappointing. Didn't kick the ball very well uh, all night, and uh, that's uh, something we've we've done a pretty good job in training camp and into our first two ball games. So disappointed to get started with that. That broke a streak of 164 consecutive PATs, but a big 68-yard touchdown uh, throw to Debo Samuel. Gamecocks are up six nothing, and then this happens. Really nice play by Sky Moore. Very instinctive. He reads the quarterback's eyes. He's a hook def defender. Slides right underneath the throw. Really nice interception right there. And then we come up, can't get anything going. We miss the 52 yarder. Uh, they come back down the field and go to the Wildcat. They've struggled with some snaps. And a really nice job by our, our defensive guys of getting vertical on the formation right here and knocking the ball off these guys. And uh, Jam Williams recovers it to give us another, another good shot at good field position. Third and 15 right here. Uh, you know, this situation, we're trying to uh, create a play down the field and, and uh, end up getting an intercepted ball right here. Coach, you had false start penalties, yeah. and uh, you had a, a young left tackle in there tonight. I know he felt bad about that, but it really hurt those um, those plays when you got in field position on their side of the 50. No doubt. I mean, you, you self-inflict wounds. You can't do that against good people, and, and, and they got a good team. You know, Mark's done a good job of recruiting good players, but – uh, we had an opportunity to make a stop right there. They go to the Wildcat. And again, that's not big yardage. They're bleeding us out three and four yards. We get to a second goal situation. They go back to the Wildcat and they get us about two yards right there. So, again, we just got to continue to um, work in the run game and playing blocks up front and being stronger at the point of attack. And uh, I do like the way that our guys continue to fight throughout the game to cut this to a one score game. That's in the second quarter right there. It's 14 6. And a long, uh, that was a second down in long. And of course, Hayden Hurst came back. He had just had a penalty on the play before. Nice in route to, from Jake Bentley. Really well thrown ball right here. Splits the two deep coverage that they have. And uh, uh, got to continue to get uh, Hayden going in the, uh, across the middle, attacking the middle of the field. And really well thrown ball to Debo down the side of the sideline right there. Uh, getting another first down. We tried to pick up the tempo a little bit offensively. Uh, throw the ball a little bit more. We were struggling in the run game and, and uh, felt pretty good about what we were able to do, uh, obviously, is third down conversion. We can't get it, uh, can't get the conversion right there. They come back on third and four, and, and we're able to, to make a stop. Excuse me, right here we throw it to Rico on a third down situation to start the second half. Really nice running on his part. You see here we've tried to just spread them out a little bit. They kept rushing four guys. We tried to get five out, and then this is a critical fourth and one situation. We got to get some push in the middle. Uh, and be able to get a first down right here, and don't 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 get it done. And that's at midfield, puts our defense under some stress right here. We were able to make the stop and hold them to a field goal. At this point, Jake Bentley had hit 14 straight, coach, but you just couldn't punch it in when you needed it. You were one of three on fourth down in the ball game. That was a big difference. No doubt. I mean, at the end of the day, we you, you got to make those plays, especially when you're down on the goal line. We got to go back and look at ourselves and study what we're doing and what we need to do to be more productive because in two years we haven't been. Uh, but 
here again, we're, you know, Jake's throwing the ball extremely well, getting the ball out on time, and, and uh, making some positive yardage. I think the tempo helped us out, spreading them out a little bit, get the ball to our skill uh, position players, which I thought was really good. Bentley with a big gun play out here. Brian Edwards got hot, coach, really in the second half. He continues to come on, and you're going to need him now with Debo out. Speaking of which, how's Rendricus Davis doing uh, for you in the wide receiver well, he's, role? He's done a nice job, you know, backing up uh, uh, Debo there, and he's done a nice job for us. We, he's going to need to really step up. You see Chad Terrell's a freshman, mm -hmm. or Trey Smith had a touchdown catch as a freshman. So we've still got some guys stepping up, and, and uh, I believe that's when he hurt his ankle right yeah. there. Yeah. So he got bent back on the, on the tackle. It's an unfortunate situation, and our thoughts and prayers are certainly with Debo and his family at this time. And yeah. hurt, for, hurt for him. That's just a football play. It didn't happen. Here you see Jake, you know, doing the best he can. It's third and goal to try and get the ball as close as he can. You know, in the situation here, you could kick the field goal and go to an eight-point game. But, you know, they, they had a nice call for what we had called. We thought they'd jam it up in the middle. They didn't. They, they sat on the perimeter. We come out defensively, make another stop, make them punt the football. You see Drake Davis catching the ball there. We come back right down. We fight our, our butts off to get, have, give ourselves an opportunity. And a uh, really nice job right here. Uh, floating to the back of the end zone and a really nice play by Wartray and a nice finish. Gorgeous play and throw. They dropped eight into coverage and still came over over the top and that's his first touchdown of his career. I'm sure there'll be many more. You do get the extra point here and it's a seven point ball game at this point and coach uh, they drive down able to convert and that's maybe the difference in the ball game as they run out the clock. They hit three field goals in the ball game. We missed three field goals as well and of course three times we were on their side of the 50 and we were unable to to make the play, and that's the final. The Gamecocks fall at home, 23-13, uh, to the Kentucky Wildcats. Carolina can't convert in a couple of key situations, and the Wildcats get the win. Carolina is now two and one on the year. We'll have some sights and sounds, and of course, talk to Coach further about this upcoming season when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. TD Bank, America's most convenient bank, is partnering with the Free Medical Clinic to help make a difference together. This year, every time South Carolina scores a touchdown, TD Bank will make a contribution to the free medical clinic to assist with their mission of providing high quality health care and medications to vulnerable residents of the community without insurance or other coverage. So, as you pull for the Gamecocks to score another touchdown, remember that TD Bank is working to make a difference in South Carolina. At Nissan, we surprised fans with this award-winning lineup. And enjoy. Let's go. All right, let's go do it. Then, they experienced Nissan's award-winning lineup. Oh, 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 oh. Let's stop for it. Oh, that's incredible. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Lease the Rogue family, starting at just $159 per month, or save up to $10,760 on select models. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 national champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. Gamecock Film Sessions are brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram.
Welcome back in to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. It's film session with Coach Muschamp as we take a look at what he looks for in Gamecock football. Here we are against Texas A&M. They get into a three-by-one set, uh, and, and generally when we overload a coverage to a side, they're going to shoot the ball to the backside X. We knew that. We wanted to hang Chaz Elder, who was our free safety at this time, on the back hash to be able to help. So Chris Lamonds knows right now he's got help deep to the post. He's got help on any seam routes vertically. So he was going to be able to play low hip and outside and really push the receiver up top. But you see we get really good vertical push on the quarterback. He's got to elevate the throw with Darius coming at him right there. So when we talk in terms of affecting the quarterback, this to me is a caused interception by Darius. He caused an elevation on the throw. Chris has a great understanding of where his middle field safety is. So he knows he can play low hip. The, thro the throw's got to be a perfect throw on top and outside to stay away from the safety and to keep it away from the corner. Outstanding play like Chris Lamont's right here and a huge play in the game. That's the film session with Coach Muschamp. That's how it's done if you want to get it done at Carolina. We'll be right back right after this. Now at Buy Low, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Buy Low and pick up all of your game day essentials. Buy Low, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. At Nissan, we surprised fans with this award-winning lineup. And enjoy, Marcus Allen. All right, let's go do it. Then, they experienced Nissan's award-winning lineup. <laughs> Stop for it. That's incredible. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Lease the Rogue family starting at just $159 per month or save up to $10,760 on select models. It's a Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! No! Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. Excuse me, what if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess, can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yep, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. Welcome back to a sold out, blacked out Williams Price Stadium for the 2017 home opener. This is the 29th meeting between the Gamecocks and the Wildcats in a series that dates back to 1937. Carolina leads the all time series 17 10 and 1, including an 8 4 and 1 mark in Columbia. But we all know Kentucky has won three in a row. Bentley throws a quick slam round. That's Debo at the 50, 40. Give him a stiff arm at the 30. Run away at the 20. Are you kidding me? It ain't a kickoff return. It's just a 68-yard touchdown pass to Debo Samuel on the first dang play of the game. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. Boom. Pistol formation behind Johnson. Johnson, a couple steps back, wants to throw. Looking down the middle of the field, into coverage and picked off towards the near sideline. That Sky Moore is 12th all time. Interception at Carolina. Oh my goodness. A power set for Johnson, a high snap. Carolina's got the ball on the ground. They scramble for it, pick it up, and drop it again. 
Dave Cox got a turnover on a high snap. Jamias Williams, the athlete, the freshman, runs towards the student section. And it's Snell this time. Wildcat, nowhere, he's going nowhere. As Sky Moore comes in, all alone in the backfield and gets Snell around the neck. Shotgun snap high, Snell right side, right at the goal line, dives in, got touchdown, Kentucky. He went low, he went hard, and he got his second touchdown of the day. That's from one yard out, the extra point could make it 14-6, Wildcats. And Jake Bentley on a fourth down, steps in the pocket. Four-man rush, Bentley throwing far corner, got a man there, Cut! All in, touchdown Carolina. Touchdown, Ordre Smith, his first touchdown of his career. And that'll do it. Mark Stoops in his fifth gear, walks across the field to shake the hand of Will Muschamp. And his Wildcats win on the road in the SEC. They defeat the Gamecocks tonight, 23-13. Good hard work has earned Tierra Duffy the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the softball team, Duffy is a senior public health major with a 3.902 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Dennis Daly starts at left tackle. Bentley throws a quick slam round. That's Debo at the 50, 40, give him a stiff arm at the 30, run away at the 20. Are you kidding me? It ain't a kickoff return. It's just a 68-yard touchdown pass to Debo Samuel on the first game play of the game. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. Ooh, what can he not do? Well, you know, let's give credit, though, Todd. Kurt Roper, outstanding design play that time. Nothing complicated. Good fake that time by Dowdle threw up the middle to give it freeze the linebacker and also the safety. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Debo Samuel, 68 yards on the first play from scrimmage, a pass from Jake Bentley. Coach, he didn't get a 97-yard kickoff return, but uh, Debo asserted himself in a hurry. Good-looking play to start the game off. It was an RPO to, uh, on Jake to, to read the coverage. They brought the safety down. We got middle field coverage, and Debo runs a good route and catches the ball and scores for us. It's almost painful to watch now knowing that he's injured late in the ball game and is out for the remainder of the season, but congratulations. And now it's time for our Terminex Pest Player of the Game. It's a veteran linebacker coach, Sky Moore, seven tackles. And of course, the pick, I think he forced a fumble as well. It's great to see him and, and Brunson getting back in the groove. Well, there's no doubt to getting Sky back in the garnet and black is important for our defense and moving forward. And uh, really an instinctive play on the interception, but made a bunch of tackles tonight. And I'm glad he's a, glad he's a game cop. <laughs> coach, so for the first time tonight, really, you didn't get a lot of folks off in the the, the first part of the ball game, the first half of the game on third down. Anything that you saw with the defensive line or that linebacking core that, that allowed them to convert some of the, so many times in the first half? Well, we lost coverage a couple times on the running back one time on a third and long situation, which you can't do. Uh, we got picked one time in a, in, a, in a coverage. It was in a man situation, and they beat us one time in a man situation. Those are the three that jump out at me uh, off the top of my head that you can't have. And, of course, at the end, you know, he scrambles. Uh, we brought fi a five-man pressure, got displaced in the rush. We're in man coverage, and he takes off for 54 yards. Very disappointing not to get the stop there. Well, give them credit. Kentucky made the plays. Now it's time to hear from my Carolina. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. 
Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back. Coach, your team falls to two and one on the season. You had so much momentum coming off the road. That felt so good because that's the place where it's toughest to find yourself and get those big wins. I know that's disappointing to your football team. How do you rebound from that? Because you got Louisiana Tech next weekend. Well, there's no doubt about it. Another opportunity in our stadium to play well. And that's what you got to look at. I'm extremely disappointed with how we played and certainly didn't see this coming. But uh, again, we, we got to circle the wagons. I told our team the first thing you got to do is, is reflect on yourself and, uh, and self-evaluate what you need to do to improve and get better. It starts with me, and that, that's what we're going to do. We averaged about 2.7 yards a carry tonight, Coach, and you got some fine backs, Enrico Dattle, uh, Tyson uh, Williams, and obviously A.J. Turner. Anything you're seeing in the run game that's pretty consistent on problems that we're having? Well, I think we need to go back and look at it, Todd. That's the big thing. I, you know, I like to watch the film first to be able to go back and figure out some things we can do better, especially in short yard situations. That's the most frustrating thing to me. The Gamecocks fall tonight, but boy, what a gorgeous place it was at williams Price Stadium. Glad you were with us. Hope you'll be with us next week as well on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.